If you're hearing this, I have a job offer for you. If we like your gumption, we'll pay you square and treat you fair. New Vegas's second DLC starts with a new radio broadcast inquiring if anyone with a pit boy wants to make a few honest caps. Soon enough, you'll be partnering up with an industrious caravan and setting out for Utah to hopefully make profitable contact with the city of New Canaan, which has been mysteriously quiet as of late. After parting ways with any companions and slimming down your inventory to the bare essentials, it's just a few loading screens until you arrive at the Zion National Park, where the caravan is promptly ambushed. Alone with no clear way back to Vegas, it's just you in the park. Zion becomes a microcosm of the Fallout experience, with factions to superficially side with, companions to boss around, areas to explore, locks to pick, and multiple endings to eke out. The park is a fresh turn from the scrub and strip of Nevada and Vegas, with clear skies, serene vistas, and the occasional rainfall inspiring more reflection than dread. It's downright pretty for the Fallout series, lacking much of the menace and decay you'd associate with the post-apocalyptic world. Enemies are mainly the same radioactive critters you've seen before, along with an aggressive tribe called the White Legs. The tribe has been cutting a swath of violence through Zion, and protecting the other tribes is your main goal and ticket back home. Fetch quests and the careful placing of dynamite make up the bulk of the main quest's objectives as you tango with the legendary Burned Man, who was the source of a lot of murmurs, though zero screen time in New Vegas. As the saying goes, when presented with the choice between legend and truth, stick with the legend. He's still an interesting character, but his air of mystery is quickly extinguished. Lit on fire and thrown into the Grand Canyon. People say he didn't even scream on the way down. Honest Hearts is most exciting at the start and then gradually ebbs, as Zion ends up being much smaller than it first seems. The land is quickly combed, foes felled, and companions traded in just as you warm up to them. A smattering of new enemies and weapons provide small diversions, though you can squeeze in a few more hours with a regular checklist of hidden caches, viewpoints, and a startling revelation or two. If you love Fallout's lore, loot, and a raised level cap, then pony up the dough and play Park Ranger. For the rest, Zion's campfire secrets should best remain ghost stories. You looking for trouble, bud? I got plenty to spare.